the thing? What is this? Uh, a video cassette player. Yep. Uh, we talked about this once. So this is for big cassette. Uh, we used to watch movie and uh, you know everything on this. Uh, it's called VCR. All right, so it's been uh, sitting um, in a closet for a very long time. So about 15 years. Probably, yeah. Uh, so before we turn it on, uh, I, I hear some like, you know, parts like kind of moving. So we don't want to start, like we don't want to plug it. We're going to actually open it up, see what's like loose part. Uh, we're going to see what's inside and then we're going to plug it in and uh, play a cassette. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Yep. And, uh, what do you see? Um, do you see anything spinning familiar? Spinning parts. Spinning the, um, parts? CPU. CPU, okay. Or I mean these things. These things, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> that's a capacitor. Yeah. All right, that's a capacitor. You see the big thing right here? The round one? Yeah. Like this one? Hmm? You know what is that? Fan. No. Nope. It's actually a head. That? And then that cassette player, we had a head. It was right on top of that. It was a pretty small one. This is a big one. This uh, cassette, once cassette goes inside, it will spin around that, and that's how we can see the picture, you know, the audio and video. Okay, there's a processor and um, pretty much all the circuits like underneath, uh, but all the mechanism it's right can on top. Can you go deeper? Uh, I don't think so. You want to do that because it's all moving parts, and uh, if you break something it's not gonna work again and uh, I already see there's a part that you know we heard of when we move around see this was the part so now we have to figure out where this belongs and we're gonna uh, fix it. I think it belongs here. Yep yeah, we're gonna put it in uh, we're gonna see if it's gonna stay or not and then we can try to plug it in and we'll put a cassette so we'll see how it spins around. Okay. We found a way and we know it goes right under here. See that, uh, this part there? All right, I'm gonna slide it in. And see, there you go. Yeah. And it's, it's not really tight, so that's why it's actually, uh, yeah, when it kind of got flipped, maybe it come off. All right, so it's, it's all good to go. And now we're gonna put the cassette. Ready? Mm. All right, so this is one of the cassettes we had. I'm gonna slide it in. So the way you put it, it's just you push it, right? And then you'll see what's gonna happen here. Ready? That's pretty cool, actually. See the whole tape got wrapped around the head? Mm -hmm. So it's, look at this, it goes around here, it spins all around, it comes here, and then you see it's coming back into the second circle. And now when I hit play, the play button. Let's see what's happening. Ah, see it's spinning? Yeah. Does that remind you anything? Um, the regular cassette. Yep, see it's coming one side. Yeah. This is a smaller part and here's a bigger part. So it's kind of taking the whole tape, goes around and come here. And in the front, we'll see if it's running. All right. How do you so, see it's running? Right here. It says, you know, the number, like how many seconds it pass. Mm -hmm. And look, I can fast forward too. I'm gonna stop it. And then I'm gonna hit the fast forward. And what happens when you do fast forward? It, can, it goes faster. Yeah, look, it's gonna go really, really fast. You hear that noise? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Awesome. You can also see the numbers on the side over here. Yeah, I see, see. That's how many seconds. How many? So now it's like second and minutes, and then it'll say how many hours. So that. How many hours can it go up to? Probably, yeah. uh, my guess is two hours. All right, and this one has like uh, other function as well, um, like fine tuning and all those kind of, you know, uh, bells and whistles. All right, so what do you think? How do we connect this to, uh, okay. you know, projector or TV? What do you think? Mm, there needs to be like, there's three of these um, right, let's um, see that inputs. Side. All right, just watch your hands. 
Because it's running. It's dirty, but look at this. Three so, inputs. There needs to be one for the TV and one for the um thing. Do you think it's an input yeah. or output? Output. So it will output to your TV. So green or kind of yellow. Hmm? Right, this one. Uh, it's for video. Hmm? White is... is for audio. And red is for? Um, I forgot. It's also audio. So it has a one video and two channels for audio. So it's a left channel and right channel. Why does it have two for audio? So it's a, st a stereo sound. Um, this will like it. Yeah, it's actually almost done. When, you, when it's done going uh, completely the other side, it will st uh, stop by itself. Oh. Alright, let's see if it stops. Okay, there you go. Fast forwarded to 5 hours, 15 minutes, and 16 seconds already. Yeah, this must be the the latest cassette that like was a 6 hours long one. There was one for 8 hours too. Seriously? Yep. What do you, what were you storing there? I don't know. I have to check. Alright, see so it stopped. Now... Is it gonna go back in? Nope, it just stopped because we only did a fast forward. Channels for right, so. In the latest, latest um, kind of technology, before there was a call, called mono. Mono means just one, right? It's a one audio. Uh, so what do you see, you know, what do you hear in uh, like speaker on the left side and right side is all the same. Then they had a stereo sound. Stereo sound is the left channel and right channel. So you could actually have slightly different, um, you know, music or voice or, you know, what is it, Dolby Digital, you know that? Yeah. It has a five speaker. So you can actually have five channels and every channel could have a different uh, music, right? Or, or like when you're watching a movie, uh, a guy talking in the front will be like coming from the front uh, speaker, but someone is talking in the side, actually can that voice can come from the side. It's called sur surrounding sound, right? So this was before that. That's why they had a left channel and right channel. Okay, and that's why is that, right? Mm. And we have, actually we have line in, and line out. So line in is to record something into this cassette. So if, if this cassette's empty, yeah. um, and we're playing something on the TV, mm -hmm. or um, let's say your other devices and yeah. they're connected, um, you, whatever you're watching, mm -hmm. it'll go into the cassette? Yep, so the cassette, um, initially there was only like, you know, the uh, people who has like you know get, uh, uh, good gadgets can do that, but later on there, there was like you know function within the cassette player that you can actually record, right? Um, so as kind of technology evolved, uh, it become easier for everyone to do that. Before there was only like you have to have specialty uh, and you need to know a lot of uh, recording recording things before you can use it. All right. So now I'm gonna take the cassette out. Um, Take it out. Basically, it's, eject it. Yep, it's pretty, pretty simple. You just press this button, and then everything starts going yep. the opposite way. See, and then it will turn off everything. This has to move down. The cassette has to move down in order to um start reading it. Yes. Yeah, so. And every time you take it out, it'll move up and turn out. Yep. So this one has a lot of like. Uh, moving parts uh, and one of them is like when you put in mm -hmm. see this uh, small um, there's this um there's that. something that um yeah. presses it to open mm -hmm. but i can i can do that same thing i press it now pull that uh, top part see it just opens there you go so if i don't have it you wouldn't be able to do it same thing here if i want to turn this wheel there's no way you can turn it because it's locked but if you put something right right here, right, like pencil or something, then this will free up and you can actually move. See, right now it's like, you can't move it, you know. So we have this screwdriver to test it. Yeah, you can do that if you want to test it. So you put it like this, mm -hmm. and then it's, it could move? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's moving now. Try this, yep, it moves, see, it's moving it. Right, if you take it out, then it's not like it's, it's locked. It's, it's locked. Can you move both of these? Here? Yeah, it's for both. But you, you see something here? It's big, bulky. You know why? Because it has a lot of moving parts. In uh, latest technology, we have everything is kind of digital, and it's a memory card. 
So there's not moving parts. It's you can make it small as possible. You know, I mean, you can uh, have circuits and everything tiny, like really, really tiny. But USBs have them like really tiny. Yeah, I mean, this can store like let's say six hours of um, to video. Be, to right? be exact, five hours, fifteen minutes, and sixteen seconds. Yeah, but we had a little bit in for uh, before, like we didn't count that. So I think it's a six hours. But if you had to put that six hours video in the flash drive. Mm -hmm. Maybe few giga, few gigabyte, right? I mean, depending on how much you know, how how quality, how um, you select the quality. Quality. If it's 1080p, it'd be larger. If it's at 2K, it's I mean 4K, it's even uh, bigger. Okay. Yep. But it's a flash drive, tiny flash drive versus look at this. Giant thing. thing. Yep. Yes. Again, lot of moving parts. Lot of, lot of. See. All right. So we learn about uh, VCR. All right.